Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your girl, Deb, of VerseOnline.com. You guys are now locked in on our interview with singer, songwriter, and producer, Lonnie Burrell, who recently released his favorite music video featuring the lovely Kelly Rowland. So stay tuned for this interview as we chop it up with Mr. Burrell on his intro into music as well as his collaboration with R&B singer Kelly Rowland. You started off as a drummer in church. How and when was the transition from being a drummer to becoming a songwriter, a music artist, as well as a producer? That transition actually happened before I, I started touring with um, John McKee and then later on the Gold Chase and JoJo and Kelly and different people like that. When I, um, when I, mm, I was the latter part of my teenage years, I decided I'm going to put these sticks down and, and go ahead and start singing. And so uh, it took me a couple of years to, you know, to shop with my craft as a singer and uh, in and out of the studio. And, uh, at the age of 16, I started really getting serious about singing. And I don't know, one day I just woke up and realized singing was something I could never get away from. So I, I just went on ahead and embraced it. Okay. So being a songwriter, producer, and singer, which one did you get into first? And do you prefer one over the other? Songwriter, singer, and what else? Producer? Um, I got in, definitely went with singing first. As I started there and then I went on into songwriting. Shout out to Tank, who like, really took me under his wing as a songwriter and allowed me to write on his team and got me my first few placements that got the ball rolling. But then after that, then I went to producer. And do you prefer one over the other? Um, I don't know, I kind of enjoy all, all three of them equally, but, you know, nothing gives you the rush like, like being on stage and seeing the fans sing your lyrics, and so I love being on stage because I come from performing. So, um, I hear it all the time where a majority of music artists say they don't listen to anyone else's record except theirs, so is that the case with you? Do you only support and listen to music you've written, produced, or sing? Uh, I won't say I only listen to music I've written, produced, or sang. Like, I, I was just talking about this yesterday with a friend that rode in the car with me. Um, all the all the CDs in my deck in my car are all CDs that I'm a part of. So I'll listen to the whole album, whether I got one song on there or two or three. But I've been a little biased, and I'm trying to break out of that. But, but I, you know, I still go back and listen to, like... Usher and, and the R. Kelly stuff from back, classic stuff that inspired me and the stuff that I love. So, um, with the saying, to whom much is given, much is expected, and being the fact that you're the one of the most sought-after producers, do you feel any pressure to deliver hit singles? Um, I never feel any pressure when I go in the studio. I just, you know, always want to make the best music possible some days you know, a little bit easier than others. But um, it's not really any pressure. I'm, I love music so much, I'm just having fun with whatever I come up with. So you've already worked with various music artists. Are there any music artists that you haven't worked with yet that you would like to work with? Um, Definitely want to work with Justin Bieber. Really? Um, yeah, yeah, he's wow. a child. <laughs> very talented kid. I was actually supposed to be in the studio with him and Chris Brown this week and I didn't make it. Um, Justin Bieber, who else? Alicia Keys. I would like to work with her. And uh, It's not really a lot to choose from. I definitely want to get back in the studio with Beyonce. I've worked with her before. But um, the, the song, well actually twice, but they, the songs didn't make the album. So I want to do something with her that actually comes out. So, um, Congrats on the music video release of Favor. Actually, sorry, I loved it. I like the song, actually. Thank you. I appreciate it. Did the collaboration come about with you and Kelly Rowland? We were really trying to figure out what song to go with. And she actually went and tested it with Universal, two different songs. And um, Universal picked Favor, so she called me immediately and was like, yo, let's go with this song. I believe in it. Um, but we, they had, she had the demo of it, which had me, Chris Brown, and Tiana Taylor on it. And so, you know, she wanted to play the political game and say, you know, what what female can we get on this song? She's like, if you want to keep Tiana, you can. But I, I really feel like, you know, just for Universal, we should 
you know, go with a, you know, with a bigger name right now. And so, um, different names came up. Kerry Hilson and um, Latoya Luckett and, and then Kelly Rowland came up and I reached out to all three of them. And um, Kelly was the first one to respond uh, quick and jumped in the studio. She, she actually called me like, bro, I love this song. I'll be in LA in two days and I, I, I can do it. So we booked the session and and um, she came straight to the studio from the airport and knocked it out in like 30 minutes. Me and her have been working a, a long time together. So the chemistry is like, you know, just automatic. And so, you know, that's how you got favor. Okay. So with the amount of success that you've reached, do you feel that you're underrated as a songwriter, producer? Um, yeah, definitely. I, I can say I'm, I'm underrated, but you know, I, I don't get upset about it. I don't really give too much thought into it. Um, I don't get, you know, a lot of the credit that that I should. And um, but it's cool. It doesn't, it's, you know, it don't change the check. And I'm just having fun and enjoying, you know, seeing people sing my songs and, and seeing people support. Like that feels that feels better to me just to know that people are enjoying it. I, I'm not really one of those people that have to have a whole lot of attention and me, me, me. I did this, so I, I just look at it like God, God, uh, reveal everything however He's gonna do it. So you're currently signed to Notify. Is that like? Am I pronouncing it right? Yeah, Notify Music Group. Yeah. So with so many artists signing independent instead of major, what was your reasoning behind this decision? Well, it was, a, it was just a lot easier for me. And now where the music game is with these majors, the majors are not really giving out deals like they used to. They're looking, they're looking uh, for artists who are self-contained and that so they're going already, not, you know, so, to where they don't have to spend too much money to get that artist on. So it's like we still have the universal distribution, but... Just even with the trying to notify, I'm able to do whatever it is I want to do. I would do it. Believes in me, and she lets me. She just trusts me with with music. So you know, I, I've written for Johnny Gill as well, who was another one of her artists. He did a, a song that me and Tank wrote, and then I've been on on the Genuine project that she just put out as well. So she really trusts me as a songwriter. She trusts me as a singer, as a producer, and so she's just really giving me the space to do whatever it is I want to do. And she only really asked me. Put for one song that she has out of all the songs on the Love Train album, she was like, "This is the one song can you for me." Other than that, the whole album is everything I wanted to do. So it's just a great situation for me. So this was not part of the question, but talking about major, I've noticed that they're signing more and more younger talent. Um, what are, what are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, it's a it's a cycle. You got to bring in the new. Some of the artists that have been around for a long time, you know, they're getting ready. Some of them are getting ready to bow out. And there, you know, there were some that were younger that are getting older now, like Chris Brown. He's, he's getting growing into his manhood. And you got Trey Songz who's getting going, you know, getting to his manhood. So they're starting to be the older artists. And, and then, so you got to have some young, some young, fresh, new artists under all of that. But do you think um, the fact that they're very young do you think that it's appropriate to actually allow um such young kids pretty much into the music music industry um i think it's great it's, it's, it's always been like that you know bow wow came in very young chris brown came in very young monica came in very young brandy did as well it's just about the content of what you allow them to put out there you know what are they talking about and what are they doing so it, that I think it's more so about that. I think they should be making clean music as kids. So your debut album, Love Train, is slated for a 2011 release. Yeah, the Love Train is slated for a 2011 release. We're looking at September, October, around that around that time. I'm probably going. Uh, I got a couple, another video I just did, a viral video that we're going to release before that, and then probably drop the second single not too far behind that, right before the album comes out. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. Okay. So what can, what can fans expect from this album, and what other projects can fans expect from you in this near future? Um, well, from the Love Train uh, project, fans definitely can expect some real R&B music. 
like a blast from the past, like, you know, back when Joe Desi and Brian McKnight and R. Kelly and, you know, all the great R&B music that was happening in, in the 90s that, that, I, that I grew up listening to and inspired me. Uh, I took all of that and mixed it together, and you got Lonnie Burrell and some baby-making music, uh, some music you can have fun to, you can ride to, skate to, clean the house to, and then you got the bedroom music. So it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's just all R&B and I, I call it a blast from the past. It's, it's you know, I, I use some of those elements. And then, you know, with the albums that I got coming, of course, Kelly Rowland's album is coming out next week. I did a song on there um, called Keep It Between Us and, and um, I vocal produced on a couple other songs. And then you got Chris Brown Fortune album coming out, which I, I'm a part of as well. And um, Tank, Tank is back in the studio. So I got a lot, a lot of stuff happening. And Carrie Hilson is back in. So I'm just staying busy. Um, well, that wraps it up. But do you have any shout out you want to give as far as where your fans could contact you? Website, Twitter, Facebook, or anything like that? Of course, on um, my my Twitter and my Facebook, I stay very hands on. It is me. I like to be in touch with my fans. My Twitter is Lonnie's World. It's L O N N Y S underscore W O R L D. And then I have a fan page on on Facebook as well as a personal page on Facebook, which. I, I run both of them. I tell my team, no, I want to do this. I want to know what my fans want to know. I want to know what, what my fans want to see. So I'm, I'm personally doing all of that. Of course, we have LonnieBurrell.com and then HitClubEntertainment.com as, as well as NotifiedMusicGroup.com. Thank you for tuning in. Follow us on Twitter, Twitter.com at Versed Online, Twitter.com at Lady Debem. Also, like us on Facebook, Facebook.com, Versed Online. Check out our site, www.versedonline.com. Again, www.versedonline.com. Yo, it's Lonnie Burrell. Shout out to Versedonline.com. Oh, oh,